Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Affinity Craft SMP. I am standing in front of my latest build, trying to work F5. Doesn't work well. Um, but my butterfly and my tulips, I love, love, love these builds. Still have to get rid of oops, that thing uh, because I've decided I don't like the pumpkin there. I may have to do something else with that. Um, or just tear it down because it's not fall anymore. Well, I mean, it's not October anymore anyway. Uh, so I may just I may just move it to like back there somewhere behind the pumpkin patch because that's where pumpkins go. Right? Right? Anyway, um, I'm really excited because 118 has dropped. And if you saw my stream this week, then you know that um, I've already explored a little bit underneath, and I've got to put that back on because it's dangerous. Uh, I've, I've explored a little bit of what is new underneath my base, but I found something that was even more amazing when I was off camera. So I wanted to show you guys. So we gotta go this way. And this is if I can remember. I am still trying to figure out how to light up these massive caves because I I, I, I don't know. It's it's not it's not a simple kind of lighting situation. Uh, I know that lighting, like I don't need as many torches, which is amazing. Um, and I could probably take a few of these down. This was more so that we could see what we were doing. But I figured that this couldn't be it. Like this is this is teensy tiny. It's it's pretty, but I'm missing some stuff. Like um, oops, hey, drip leaf. I was missing some stuff, so I started to dig down since, you know, this is still relatively high up in the world at negative 16. So I was like, let's dig down and, and see what happens. And I started to hear some bats. And I'm thinking my head. And I got to hear. And I was like, okay, this is cool. Best part of this is that we now have some of the flowers. Uh, how did I get up there? I don't think it was like that. Wow. No, definitely not like that. Uh, you know what? There we go. Back to where at least I started. And I thought those were berries for a second or some kind of <laughs> like new block. But no, that that's just redstone being covered with uh, the vines, which I thought was kind of cool. You know what? Maybe I could fly. I don't know. I've never tried to fly through vines before. So anyway, I continued on the way through here and found this. And I thought, this, this works. <laughs> I am quite happy. I have not uh, done all of the lighting in here that needs to be done. Um, and I have not explored further. There's like a whole bunch of stuff down there. Um, I, I haven't I haven't done what needs to be done yet. But and I don't know about you guys, but uh, this makes it a lot easier for creepers to hide, <laughs> and that makes me very nervous, and I don't like it. So where are my torches? There's my torches. Uh, so so it's not my super favorite, but it'll do. Because look at this place. It's just gorgeous. Yes, there's caves off that way. There's caves down there. But oh, it's so beautiful. And I just saw someone who had posted a, oops, uh, posted something where they put like a wooden, like a spruce walkway through a lush cave like this and I thought that's a great idea I like that idea quite a bit so let's see if I can fly back here oh 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 this is where I was trying to get up to before 
uh, because I had a, a better vantage point from up here. But this is another little tiny nook. Oops. And then I can go down here and get to my exit. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys that because these are, these are just beautiful and amazing and wild and I can't wait to keep exploring. I am not going to do too much exploring yet because Voxel has not been updated and I honestly will get lost and that's not good. So, but yeah, just, I, I need, I need a better system. Um, I can't seem to remember to torch on the right, which is an issue. Oh, also on stream. <laughs> I have another skelly spawner. So that would make two near my base. Not worth making into a farm just because it's too far away from the one up there. And I, you know, don't really need a second one. But it's there in case something happens to the first one. Not likely. But, you know, at least I know it's there. All right, so uh, the thing for today, though, is not actually exploring or doing 118 stuff so much as I need to add, oh, pretty spore blossom. I need to make an addition to my base. And that addition is going to be right over here. Uh, this space seems just kind of empty. And I want to do a couple things in the water. I want to hide that conduit. And I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with that yet. Uh, but I have all this space here. And um, I could get rid of some of the torch spam if I just, you know, put a building here. And had lights on the outside of the building. And torch spam handled. So I am going to make a lighthouse. I thought this this was a good place for it. It's a nice kind of outcropping. This is weird. I don't have voxels, so I can't really get a good bird's eye view of it. This So yeah, I could just put a lighthouse there um, for the people who managed to get past the coral reef, I suppose, since um, technically ships would not be able to get past that easily, hence the um, shipwreck. But yeah, anyone anyone coming through, I could put it on this island also and make that my turtle beach, but uh, yeah, I kind of like this being a completely separate island with uh, for the turtles and stuff like that. I'll probably do something here, but I think I want the lighthouse over here. So I'm going to get started on that and bring you back when there's something to show. Okay, so... The lighthouse has been built, and this is what it's looking like. Not too bad. Um, I need these to fully oxidize. Um, they're still working on it in some cases, but I think that's a good start. Now, what I'm missing is some greenery and that will help make it kind of fit in with the other buildings which I just realized I never did put the leaves on that or on the stable at some point I gotta do that but for now we are just going to come around here and um, just place some blocks and do so one two three four Five through seven. That should work. And just make it look a little prettier. And fall off the scaffolding. 
yeah, um, let me focus on uh, doing this and I will bring it back when I have a little bit more to show. Guys, we're taking a break from the tower and the reason is is because I've done something. Are you ready? Ah! Slimes. There is something just wrong about having so many slime chunks and not actually having them set up as a farm. But I don't really need a farm, given the number of slimes that I keep finding in my hallway. <sighs> Okay, so, um, surprise! <laughs> um, I, I kind of redid this area. I got really tired of it looking horrifying. <laughs> Just very basic. Like, I still have to, to finish this and work on this. But, um, what I might do is get rid of this and just, like, have a walkway down to the one that's naturally spawning below. Because... It's much better than anything that I could do here. But I um, I, I redid this. I lined the skeleton farm up with this uh, elevator column. So I redid this hallway. Um, basically, I came in here and I, I was trying to remove torches. And I realized when I removed the torches that it, it had like an ambiance. And I really liked that ambiance. And I wanted to keep it. So... Um, I have little doorways that lead to the storage area, the slime farm area, and the amethyst mine back there. And obviously skeleton farm. Uh, my dripstone farm is still back here. It's a little more open now though. My cactus farm got a slight facelift. And then I put the, the columns in. I was trying to make it kind of vaulted, um, but realized that to make it any taller, I would need to use a ton of scaffolding and figured this this is good enough. Like, I don't need to go too much higher up. But I brought my amethyst in, the calcite, the um, cobbled deep slate, since I have all the deep slate now, which it makes me so happy. And then to break up the flat bone block walls, I put the glow lichen in that also brings in some light, uh, which I absolutely love. Like, I love the new spawning rules in terms of light levels. Um, it still looks a little weird where there's like stairs and slabs because I can't put the glow lichen on that, but I, you know what? I, I don't care. I think it, it looks pretty as it is. So, um, I, oh, I missed one. Uh, and of course, I have no more bone meal on me. So that is kind of just a, a little side project that I was doing. And oops, I redid this. I brought in some of the dripstone rather than all amethyst because, you know, the dripstone and the glow berries are not the only things that we have. Uh, where was it? There. I don't think I missed any others. Okay, I'm not going to put it up there. So anyway, uh, that's what I kind of did yesterday, because I could, and uh, I put, oh, I can take that torch out now, haha. -ha. Okay, so yeah, I, I love, love how this looks, just by nature of it, it I don't know. It's it's a little darker. It's a little moodier. I'm definitely happy with how this downstairs looks now. So here we have it. Let's get a better view up here. So we have the... Lighthouse up in general here. I added some of the 
uh, greenery to kind of help it fit in a little bit better with everything else and I went ahead and switched out the uh, stone with terracotta because that also ties things in a little bit better although you can't see all the different ones and I probably need to do that over there too but anyway um that's that's pretty much it. We're not going to talk about the number of times that I fell off that little platform or off the roof uh, while you guys weren't watching, because you, you don't need to know that number. And let's take a look at the interior. It's, it's very, very rudimentary, but I did actually decorate the interior. Look at me. This is growth, people. Growth. So I've got some barrels up on some shelving, I've got some barrels down here, and they actually are, you know, being used for storage for, like, fishing stuff uh, and anything else that I fish up. And then there's not a whole lot by the windows, just because there's not a whole lot of space in here. And then we have the main lighthouse part from here. And you can look out the windows and see the base, or see the ocean and the coral reef. So not too shabby. I am quite happy with this build. And I just need this copper to uh, do its thing. Oh, I did decide to change the door orientation. Because I decided it didn't really make sense for the door to be here, which is where it was originally. Um, because I'm not going to be coming from that direction. I'll usually be coming from this direction, or even that direction. But still, it it didn't it didn't make sense for it to be on that side. So I moved that. It took me a, a hot minute to rearrange the spiral staircase so that it flowed a little bit better. But that also meant we moved the windows. And I had to add one, so we have we have a scraggler back there. But overall, I am quite happy with how this looks. And I think this makes a good addition to the little area here in this base. And no more torch spam! You can see there's no torches. Look, look, none. No torches over here. None. And I have my, my light overlay mod on right now, so you would see if there was anywhere that needed needed a torch, and none of it does. And that also makes me very, very happy. So with that, guys, I'm going to say goodbye. Here, up there. If I move forward, can I see the whole thing? There we go. All right, now. Bye, guys. Have a fabulous, fabulous day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you next time.